Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a fold out with three styles. That's what I'm going to call it at least. But first, let's have our shout out to Christine, Eric and Ruthie, With Love L, Judy, Mags, Theola, DJ, Lainey, Connie, and Chris. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have a piece of cardstock that I have printed on. Isn't that beautiful? This is actually a piece that I have, and this is from Digital Curio. I have coffee dyed the back. So this happens to be a piece that's a little over four to almost four and a half. You can make this any size you want, but you're going to need the length. So the width can be any size you want. Keep in mind, you'll need the length. So let's go ahead and let's just trim off a little bit here to make a point. And I don't want it to be too awful severe. Something like this will be just fine. So now what we'll want to do is we're going to want to take our page and we're going to need to fold it with two folds. So I am just going to look at this like this and just kind of roll it here to see if I can get it to be something that I'm interested in. How about this? Let's go with this. And this is, let's see, where's my bone folder? Here it is, right here. So from here to here is about two inches. So then we're going to fold it back on itself because we want this to fit within itself. So we want, I'm not explaining this very well, we want all this to fit in there. That's what we're after. And let me see if I'm fairly straight. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, so now we're like this. All right. So what I want to do now is I'm going to bring in my guillotine, which is right over here. And I'm actually going to fold this up. And I'm going to just trim this right here just to clean it up a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to clean this up because can you see there's pieces that are sticking out right there. Not, not large pieces, just a little bit. I just want to clean it up just a little. There we are. Now, let me set that aside. So now we're all cleaned up and it's straight. I would like to go ahead and round the bottoms right here just a little bit. Alrighty, and the top is already flat right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my vintage photo and I am going to ink around the inside and the outside and then I will be right back and we will continue. Okay, so now we're all inked up. So let's go back to our little piece that we have here of our original paper that we're working with. And I'm going to bring my guillotine back and I am just going to cut about an inch off. Let's see. Actually, yeah, maybe it's two inches. How much is that? It's almost a half an inch. It's a little more than a half an inch. You want to strip like that. Then we're going to need to measure right here. And let's cut another piece right down like that. And we want that to be about two inches. 
about an inch and a half. And then we'll set these aside. Now we're going to get our coffee dyed paper and we are going to here. Let's fold it in half the long way. And then let's fold it over maybe once. We're going to measure right here. It's going to go in this spot right here, this first little area. So there's one. There's four pieces right there that will be fine. We'll give that a trim, get the side a trim. So now you have four pieces in here. And we're going to bring our stapler in. And we're going to, I've got a bunch of stuff over here, guys. I kind of, here we go. And we're going to give two little punches with our stapler. So we have it looking like this now, kind of like a flip book. I have some where I marked my paper earlier. I'm going to just going to trim that off instead of erasing it. There we go. Now what I'd like to do is bring in my corner rounder and I'm going to round my corners right here, just like this. And then we're going to bring in that little strip that we made, and it's going to go right here. I just have to decide. Now I think I like it here. And I'm just going to hold it right up to it and cut where I need to make it so it will fit right onto this pad that we made, a little flip book. And let's go ahead and let's ink this up. All nicely inked. And let's get our glue. Now I'm using hot glue for the purpose of the video. And let's place it right here in that first area. Okay, and then let's go ahead. Do I want it this way or this way? I think I want it this way. Go ahead and put us some hot glue on there. I'm just going to press it down just so it gets stuck on there. All right, so now we have a flip book in our first little section. Huh? How cute, right? Now we cut this other one. It's going to go right here, and I'm just going to mark about the center of it. And then I'm going to bring in my small punch. I think it's a half inch punch. And I'm just going to punch out a little tiny punch. Just put my whole punch just partially in and give it a little punch. And it will just take a notch out. And I would like to attach it right here. So let's go ahead and let's glue this down. So we're just gluing on three sides, just like this. All right, now while that sets up, let's grab ourselves another piece of coffee dyed paper. We're going to have to grab one real quick. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to get a piece of coffee dyed paper and this is 11 inches long and that is what we're going to need for the next, what's going in our next little area here. So I am just going to mark this so it fits, the strip that I'm going to make fits inside of this rectangle right here. So once again, I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to just line this up just like this. There we go. Get that lined up. And now we're going just to give it a trim. Okay. 
pin and we're going to take the two corners and we're going to bend them down. We've made these before, but I don't think we've ever put all of these <clears throat> things that we've all made before into one piece of ephemera and that's what makes it really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those down so it makes a point. We're going to fold this over just a tad. Not a lot, but just a tad. We'll give it a fold right here. There we go. And then what we want to do is we want to bring our little piece back in. And we're going to need to fold it so it fits into this. You know what? I'm not sure that I made this narrow enough. It looks like I need to cut a little bit off the edge. That's what I think I'm going to need to do, is cut a little bit off of here so it fits just a little bit better. So let's go ahead and bring that guillotine back in. Where did I put my little guillotine? Here it is. Let's bring it back in and let's just shave a little bit off right here. I think that will be better. Yeah, that's a tight little tight spot there. I didn't realize I made that so tight. Okay, it'll work though. Now, we're going to bring our piece back again that we have all these things uh, made from, so it just will tie it all together. And I'm going to put glue onto the top here, just like this. And then I'm going to put it right on top. Actually, I think I want it to go this way. Right on top. Pull it down just a little bit. Here we go. And then we're going to give it a trim. I'm going to trim this out. There we go. Here. And here. So it's just like that. Now we're going to, we are going to need to do the inside. Uh, don't. Actually, that will work. Okay, that little tiny piece. I can use it up. Pretty exciting right there. So we're going to apply the glue right onto this side and then we're going to put our little piece right here and press it down and then we're going to give it a trim. Okay, now we're going to need to ink up all the way around, and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I have inked this all up. Now we're ready to put it onto our last little fold. So I'm going to glue the back. Place it right on here, and I made it kind of tight, so I need to make sure it still folds and yet goes in there, which it does. And then you'll be able to pull it out and have all this space to journal in. Oh, what fun! All right, now let's decorate just a little bit. So I have got a few stamps. So let me go ahead and pull these over here. I'm not sure which ones we're going to use. I do have some butterflies here. I have some swirls. I wanted to use the same on all of them. 
and I just wasn't real sure what I wanted to do here. I have these swirls right here and I'm thinking that I want the swirls is what I'm thinking. I think it will go with the go with the pattern of the paper very well. So let's go ahead and grab our black ink because it won't show up if I do it in the vintage photo. And let's just start with this one. And I'm going to remove my little plastic. Uh, let's go ahead. I think I want it this way. So let's place our ink onto our stamp and let's get it on here. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Now I'm actually thinking I'm going to use the same. I'm going to use the same for this one. Like that. And I'm going to change up for the middle one. And I'm going to use this. Now I have two others that I have made and I actually stamped them in a different way using different stamps. And I made them out of different paper but with the same Well, for heaven's sakes, Kathy, that's called not paying attention. <laughs> I put it on the wrong side. It stays on, so it it stays on, all right. True to its name, it stays on. I gotta stay on my fingernail and fingers too, huh? Probably. Okay. So let's see. Let's put this right, put it right like this. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I love this stamp. And I think they have this one. I ordered it when I was on my phone, and I have, I've told this story so many times. And so I don't know exactly where these came from, but I think I saw these or something extremely similar in Hobby Lobby last time I was there. So you might check that out. Now I'm going to move this over here just while we finish up. I'll pick this up so you can see how pretty that is. Now let's finish this up. We're going to need to put a closure on here and maybe just a little bit of a decoration. So I have some blue ribbon. I have a few long labels. I have some mushrooms. And let's first decide on our label. So our label is what's going to keep this closed. We're going to make it as a tuck spot. So there's this one. That's okay. There's that one. This one. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Let's try this one. Not so much. What does this one say? Now that's a blue one. That's pretty too because that's blue. Okay, let's go with the blue one. And I don't tend to use the blue one as much. Let's go ahead and just use it. And so what we want to do is we want to put glue on only the ends of our label. Just the ends. Moving that piece that's on there. And we're going to put it right here so that it holds it, so it holds it closed. Isn't that wonderful? And so this tucks right underneath, and that's how it's held closed. I love that, just love that. Now I have some mushrooms here, and well, that's awful pretty, but I really like this one, and I do need to quickly trim this out. Just give it a quick trim. So when you're fussy cutting, you're turning the item that you're cutting and not your scissors. Your scissors basically stay still and you move your piece around. 
the piece that you're cutting, you move it around. That makes it so much easier. Okay, let's go ahead and eat this up very quickly. It's going to go right here and it just fits. It just fits right there. So let's go ahead and get this on and slip this underneath just like that. Okay, now I'd like to add a little bow and I have this very pretty blue bow and I would like to place it Make a little bow right here. There we go. And let's go ahead and place it right there. Just put a little piece of glue right there and just put your bow right on top. Just like that. Isn't that cute? Let me show you the others that I've made. Oh, no, wait a second. We still have to do, do something else. We have to put a little, a little um, ticket tab in there. We have to, we have to do that. Now, this was one that I made as a, what's the word I want? Template for when I made my other ones. And so I'm going to make this one just a little longer because the others that I've made were not quite this tall. And so I'm just going to use it as a template to trim out right here. And let's see, is this going to be, well that's going to be perfect. Now let's go ahead and quickly ink up the edge. Oh, I was going to go ahead and put around the edge here. Let's quickly do this because I want to add a little something onto here that I think is super cute. Make sure that I made this long enough. I, I did. I have these little tassels and I purchased them at the craft store and I think these are so cute and I'm going to place one. the tassel part right here. Just like that. I'm going to move that off so the extra glue doesn't stick onto my little piece of ephemera here. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? I think that's so cute. Now here's another one that I've made. Look at this one. These are pretty colors, right? And then you open it up and it's got, I've stamped it like this. So you can stamp them all different ways. And then there's this one. It's very subtle. You open it up and it's stamped like this. Oh my goodness, you guys, I absolutely love these. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.